Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Thomas Team to be YT, back again with another video, starting off here in my home office. Today we are going to be getting some new wheels on Josh's Mark 7 GTI. We've been doing lots of mods to his car recently, you guys have been really enjoying it. So finally getting a nice new set of wheels, the red rotiforms are sold and gone, and this next set, oh, I'm so excited, they're so fire. And I know I told you that would be doing the wide body this week, but I've been working on getting the lights in the garage so it's not so dark in there so I'm halfway through that project so that video should be up early next week and then it should be just wide body 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 but now we're gonna go get the new wheels on Josh's Mark 7 I get the breakfast of champions That's work. nice and sausage biscuits and moose moose for breakfast moose moose hi Drop a like for the boy. All right, guys, got the breakfast champions. Ready to head out. Let's do it. All right, guys, we made it to Pop's Garage. Got the uh, stock Mark 7 wheels on there because we did end up selling the rotiforms. So now to introduce Josh's new wheels, which he is getting ceramic coated right now so that they'll stay nice and pristine. Let's introduce the new wheels. Here are the new wheels. Ray's Graham Light 57 DRs in gloss white. 18 by nine and a half with a nice stretch. Little Neogen 215 35. Ooh! Josh on some real hot boy wheels. Sheesh! Graduated from the rotiform. Sheesh! Ah, damn. All right, cue the cinematics of these absolutely gorgeous wheels. Let's go. Kind of go over some of the details that are really really cool it's uh, got engraved in the side there gram lights and then over here made in japan the rays logo and then he ordered these center caps separate because rays don't come with center caps so these are gram lights in a nice anodized red which i think is going to go well with the gti's accents and some of the interior hits on josh's car and then we got the little 57 and are these 57 CRs or DRs? CRs. Oh, I f***ed it up. Okay, I said 57 DRs. They're 57. They're 57 CRs. Josh is right. There's there's two wheels that are like pretty identical to these. The DRs, DRs, have, a, the DRs have six spokes. DRs have a six spoke with extra extra weight saving in between the locals. So these are the CRs. 57 CRs. Okay, so everything else I said was right though. 18 by nine and a half. 215.35. I mean, we get such a beautiful stretch. I know these are track wheels, so uh, you guys are gonna be mad that we're stretching them, but that's all right. Josh loves it, and they're gonna look so freaking spicy on the GTI. This white looks so pretty. And we also got a motorsports hardware stud conversion, the same one that I did to run my Likewise lug nuts, because Josh got some matching raised lug nuts that match this anodized red. Also, you wouldn't be able to run them without the stud conversion. Yes. These are five by one fourteen. So I was getting to that. So these are five by one fourteen point three wheels. So these are most like JDM spec, and obviously the GTI and most Euro cars are five by one twelve. So you're saying, Thomas, how how are you guys gonna run five by one fourteen point three? Well, with the smaller lugs, I checked, and you can run a five by one fourteen spacer on the smaller lugs because it basically takes. Yeah, I think it's 14 by 1.5 to 12 by 1.5. So as you can see, these little studs just go down to a smaller size, which allows you to be able to run. Because the 5 by 112 and 5 by 114, they're off by only like a couple millimeters. And so with the studs, stud conversion on there, these wheels will fit money. And it'll be a lot better if Josh ever decides to resell these wheels because the 5 by 114s resell so much better than the Euro spec. I'm really proud of Josh. He's got a super sick set of wheels. Graduating from the red rotiforms, going from a young car boy to a to a mature car boy. So right now he's just cleaning the wheels up since they're white. We do want to run a ceramic coating. This isn't ideal, but we have these uh, chemicalized hydro slick until Josh can take them to Steve to get them professionally uh, ceramic coated. You know the college life. He just spent two G's on wheels, and that's all the money he had. <laughs> Sheesh! Sats out Josh. His parents are like, Josh, did you eat anything this week? No, but my wheels say made in Japan. Let's go. Detail on these wheels, I know I'm just like geeking out, but there's like little stickers all on the inside and most of them are in Japanese. You've got this cool the instruction raised one. Came all in Japanese. The instruction manual came all in Japanese? Yeah. That's freaking dope. 
Okay, yeah, so Josh is just cleaning the wheels up with alcohol. We're gonna apply that kind of just temporary hydro slick because they are white wheels. We wanna try to help Josh out as much as possible. What we do really need to do is get you on ceramic pads. Yeah. I'll, once, I'll grab him when I grab the rotors. Once he's not a broke college boy, we'll get that out. He's on summer break, so he can start bringing more cheddar, get me some more videos in. Let's go, baby. Sounds like a scheme for Thomas to make money. <laughs> it is a scheme for Thomas <laughs> to make money. Sheesh. No, it's just I'm broke and I can't, I don't have content. So you guys get me content. Because you guys like. I'm content. broke too. <laughs> so in today's video, we're doing the new wheels. We're doing the Motorsports Hardware stud conversion. We are putting on my titanium lug nuts uh, in the meantime, because we are still waiting for the dumb no UPS caps. driver driver to deliver Josh's. Josh got some sick raised lug nuts. I'll show you guys in the next video when we feature his car again on the channel. But they are basically uh, lug nuts that say raise on the side and they're this red color, which matches the center cap. And he's also going down from a 19 to an 18. And then he's keeping the- But they are wider. They are very, they're inch wider, right? Cause you were on an eight and a half before. So he's going an inch wider, but an inch smaller in diameter. So wider wheels. He's probably gonna be able to sit lower when bagged. His 18s are just money on the GTIs with bags. Uh, so we're just gonna finish up getting the ceramic coating on. We'll jack up the car, do the stud conversion, put on the wheels, and then we'll finish the video off showing the finished product and how sick this car is gonna look on the new raised gram lights. So let's do it. Guys, we got the uh, lug holes all cleaned up so we can get a good contact with the Loctite blue when installing the new studs. Just a little bit of WD-40 wire brush and uh, clean them out with microfiber. Uh, we just want the safest contact possible so that the studs don't go flying out. Okay, we probably should have taken this bolt out before you put that Let's wheel on. <laughs> Let's take the wheel back off. We gotta clear in some stuff out of the fenders. All right, guys, we can confirm that running this stud conversion allows you to run JDM spec wheels, so 5 by 114.3, without having to run wobble bolts or do any modifications. All you gotta do is the stud conversion that takes it down to 12 by 1.5. Then you're able to run some baller lug nuts. Here we have the ones that I ran last year, just with no sleeves over the top because um, it would have looked funny. Yeah, so that's pretty sick. So now we can run, if you guys wanted to run 5x114 wheels on your Euro cars, you can. And it's pretty easy to do. I'd recommend doing hub-centric rings, which are also still waiting for. They're coming with the lug nuts. So make sure you do the hub-centric rings, the stud conversion, a cool set of lug nuts, and you'll be all set to go. And this is a super sick mod for the GTI. Look, look at this, guys. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, look at that perfect fitment. No spacer, 18 by nine and a half plus 38. Dude, the brakes match too. Brakes match too. Hard, I love those center caps. All our center caps. What do you think, Josh? Pretty <laughs> sick. <laughs> They're sick. The stretch is dope. Nitto Neogen for the tires. One of the greatest tires you can stretch. And we are stretching the tires for, to get the fitment bagged. You could run a Meteor tire, but obviously it would uh, run into the fender here. So we're hoping when we air out, it's just gonna dive right in here. So we got this nice, perfect stretch and Josh is gonna run the tires at 45 PSI so we don't get any D beads. What? Sponsored by Heatwave Visuals. Should I hit him up for a sponsorship? Do it. I wish. Guys, the test fit is a dove. Look at this fitment. Sheesh. Oh my gosh, I've never seen something so pretty in my entire life. All right, air this hoe out. Oh my gosh, he's tucking. He's 
talking. Yo. Oh. Got <laughs> all right, we got the lugs all torqued up to spec. 90 foot pounds on the studs. I'm gonna pull it out in the sun, see how she looks. We are gonna set his bag pressure in the rear. Um, so when it airs out that it only goes down to 20 PSI so that it doesn't tuck the rear quarters all the way into the lips because we don't want to buckle his fenders. Um, and so Josh is going to get uh, the Godspeed camber arms in a bit and just add just, just a hair of camber just so that we don't buckle the fenders and it tucks like the front. Guys, it looks so freaking good. Sheesh. Now that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. And that's a lot of damage. Wow. All right, guys, we're super happy with how this turned out. Josh is in love. It looks so good. Sheesh. Now we're gonna, oh my God, that's such a good angle right there. Sheesh. Okay, now we're gonna hop in the uh, Jordan Spaceship Mobile. Full camber tutorial coming very soon. Just got a little matching camber, you know. Subtle flex. Subtle flex. Josh's car looks baller. Okay, let's get you guys some rollers. Shouts out Jordan. Shouts out brake dust. <laughs> Already on the new wheels, sheesh. And so it begins. It's time for some ceramic pads. But yeah, Josh is freaking over the moon with how this turned out and so am I. I think it looks amazing. So much better than the rotiforms. Oh man, I just, it looks so good. What do you think? It's awesome. You happy? I'm so happy. But that is pretty much going to do it for today, guys. Next time you see him, I'll show you the lug nuts that he's been waiting on. Um, but, you know, everything's great. I mean, we only had to take out little one, one little screw that was up here in the fender. So when it airs out, it doesn't make any weird holes or punctures or anything. Um, and then we do want to add a little bit of camber to the rear just so we don't buckle the rear fender. So right now, Josh is not airing all the way out. So he's not trying to put stress on the rear quarters. So we'll get some uh, Godspeed camber arms in, add just a titch bit of camber, and then we'll have tuck in all the way around. So that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, comment down below. Gram lights, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you hated it, leave a dislike. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.